What in the blazes is going on? It looks like the core crystals are just flickering out. No, it's not right. It's more like their light is being tainted, corrupted somehow. If you have chosen to appear, then the situation can only be as dire as I fear. And by wrong, you mean this corrupted, noxious magic I can sense? Restoring it. A purification. Which means traveling to the sacred domains. The sacred domains? It is the name we gave to the birthplaces of the core crystals. the sacred domains, and purify the core crystals. Um, Lord Renan? What does all this mean exactly? Rather than me trying to explain it, better that you see it for yourself. Now, we need to act quickly. We shall begin the purifications immediately. Anyone mind if I go first? You know how I am. I really can't stand just waiting around. Very well. When ready, we shall each travel to our sacred domains. What about me? I want to help too. Lucio, come with me for now. No doubt you'll be seeing the other domains too, before this is all over. Why do you say that so ominously? Stop pestering us with questions and just go with Satya. Everything will soon be clear. Uh, okay. Okay, let's get moving. Take care, Satya. Right back at you. This is the sacred domain of fire, which gave birth to the core crystal of fire. I didn't know there was such a place in the far plane. Warriors of the crystals are assigned a domain each representing the element of which they are the keeper. Our task is to purify the core crystal here. But this is not going to be easy. Extremely dangerous, in fact, for a single warrior. Which is why I need your help. I'll do my best. What do you need me to do? You'll see soon enough. We just need to place the core crystal on the pedestal. There. Now, here goes. I'm going to draw the corruption out of the crystal and into myself! L Lady Satya! Are you alright? Shush! Just watch! Carefully! It's almost time! A monster! Where did that come from? <sighs> Lucio, that's what was messing with the core crystal. I forced it to manifest its form. It has to be slain. If we put the monster down, we should be able to purify the crystal and restore its power. <sighs> Lady Satya! I'm just guessing here. But manifesting the corruption is a lot harder than you were expecting, isn't it? As 
much as I hate to admit it, yes. It's almost more than I can manage, just to hold it at bay. Every moment that passes, I feel my magical power slowly ebbing away. Then let me help! I swear to protect you, Lady Satia. Protect you, the other warriors, and the balance of the world. So, Lady Satia, please, stand down! I'll take care of this! <laughs> I like your spirit, Lucio. Go on, then. Forget about me. Go give it everything you've got! This is your time, Lucio! They tell me you've grown strong. Now prove it! I shall. Did it? <laughs> well done. You've gotten stronger since the time we went questing together. <laughs> Lady Satia! It's fine. I can take it. Besides, I'm still not done purifying the core crystal. The corruption has drained the power of the crystal. So I have to give it my own strength so that its magic may be restored. I can't stop until that is done. Can I do anything? I feel a bit useless just standing by and watching. Unfortunately, no. This is a job for me alone, the keeper of the core crystal of fire. Besides, you have your own mission. Go to the other sacred domains. Do what you did here. Slay the corruption when it manifests. But, Lady Satia, I can't leave you here like this. Are you forgetting who I am? I can take this, and more, besides. To travel to the sacred domains, you only have to will it hard enough, and the far plane will do the rest. Don't worry about me. Help the others. I know you can do it. All right. But please, be careful. When he first came to us, he was as weak as a kitten. But he's growing into a fine young warrior. I wish we'd had more time. I wish I could have taught him more. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. All right. Enough moving. Let's get this over with. The rest is up to you, Lucy. Something off about this place. Lucio, good to see you. Lord Renan! You're in a terrible state! Are you alright? Wait, don't tell me. Have you absorbed that corrupted magic into yourself? You saw what happened with Satia, yes? Then I warrant I don't need to waste breath explaining things. This noxious magic, it is a heavy load to bear. For such strange power to spill from the core crystal. This is clearly more than just a dire situation. I can feel my mind ready to fade away the moment my concentration wanes. Lucio, as you can see, I cannot hold much longer. Are you ready to fight? Yes, sir. I know what I must do, and that Lady Satia believes in me to see it through. I swear to do my duty, as a warrior of the Crystals! <laughs> well spoken. I do believe I can leave this in your capable hands. So let us begin. Lucio, slay the corruption that gnaws at the core Crystal! Yes, sir! I'm ready!
That's it! Another monster defeated! Lord Renan, are you alright? I am fine. And the purification is all but complete. Uh, Lord Renan! You needn't worry. More importantly, I am starting to fathom what's happening here. Many times in the past, it has been necessary to restore the magic of the core crystals. But this corruption by noxious magic, such a thing has never happened before. Only when I absorbed the power into my own body did I begin to understand. I think this magic is the reason that the core crystals were causing monsters to run amok. It is not a natural phenomenon that happened by accident. Someone is behind this. Lucio, you need to continue your mission, but go carefully and keep your eyes open. I swear I'll do my duty, no matter what is out there. I'll find out who or what is behind this and stop them. Please rest, Lord Renan, and recover your strength. Here I go, to the next sacred domain. Always ready to dive head first into things I see. Just be careful. After all, you are our successor. This must be the next sacred domain. But no one's here. Wait, that's... Sadly mistaken if it thinks it can beat me with sheer size. I do not break easily. I may have lost a lot of strength, but this battle is still mine. Lady Doom is fighting the beast. I have to help. Ha! Lady Doom, are you all right? You are late. I couldn't wait any longer, so I started without you. <sighs> You're still all about punctuality, even at a time like this. Yes, but I'm glad you made it. Lady Tomb. It looks like the chit-chat will have to wait. Stay back, give me room, and I... <sighs> Lady Tomb, please rest and let me handle this. Lucio, for a once pathetic new recruit, you have certainly come a long way. Very well. Go on then. Show me what I've taught you. Are you hurt, Lady Jume? Yes. I was injured when fighting alone. Before you finally showed up. Oh, uh, I came as fast as I could. I'm just teasing. You've grown strong, Lucio. If I have, it's only thanks to you. The training, the lessons you taught me, gave me the strength to grow. Butter me up all you like. I'm not going to go any easier on you. But I wasn't trying to... Anyway, there's something more pressing. I have information from Lord Renan. So, what do you think? Do you have any idea who might be behind this? No. Not even in the slightest. Oh. But Lucio, I am confident you'll find out. I believe in you, so don't let me down. I won't. I have to go to Lord Bellus next. 
I'll come back for you when I'm done, so try to rest in the meantime. Come back for me. That is a promise you won't keep. I wish... I really wish I could have seen what you grow to become. Farewell, warrior. trouble to deal with. How many more of these vermin must I fight? <sighs> He's finally here. Sorry I'm late, sir. Late? I thought I'd been abandoned at the altar. Uh, Lord Bellis, why are you pushing me from behind like that? It just so happens I was hoping an extremely capable and benevolent apprentice would show up to deal with these monsters. Let me guess. You can't be bothered to fight them yourself. Me? Never. I just need a break from all this corruption turned rampaging monster business. The main show's still to come, and I need to catch my breath. To be fair, the others were pushed to their limits as well. You catch your breath, sir, and I shall deal with these monsters. That's the spirit. Go on then. Have at them. Thanks, Lucio. They were a real handful, huh? Oh, it wasn't so bad. But what about you? Will you be able to finish the purification? Yeah. Thanks to you, there's nothing to stop me now. I just have to restore that magic that was lost. Right. But after that, will it truly be over? We still don't know what's behind all this. I have a feeling this won't be the end of it. Oh, it's the end of something. That's for certain. Huh? Tell me, how much do you know about the ultimate fate of the Warriors of the Crystals? The ultimate fate? Well, they protect the Core Crystals, preserve the balance of the world. So no one has told you yet, huh? Then it falls to me to explain it to you. Do you know what the core crystals are made of? Well, uh, magic and that kind of thing. They are made from the warriors of the crystals themselves. What? You know that the magical power of the core crystals maintains the balance of the world, right? Of course. I learned that on my very first day of training. Maybe you also know nothing lasts forever including the core crystals. Over time, as the crystals work to protect the world, their power slowly drains away. Which is why the power has to be replenished from an outside source. To do this, the warriors of each elemental core crystal must become crystals themselves. By then merging with the core crystals, they replenish the power needed and become the very thing that they once protected. Th they become crystals? But uh, that means... the others... are they... I suppose they're fulfilling their final duty, even as we speak. Did everyone know about this? Everyone except you. Why didn't anyone tell me? You were still an apprentice. You didn't even know which crystal would be yours. 
We thought it too soon to tell you, but now, well, circumstances have overtaken us. So there it is. Now you know everything. My time has come, Lucio. Watch and see how a warrior of the crystals fulfills his final destiny. Lord Velas, your arm! It's turning into crystal. Won't be long now. Well, new recruit, our time was short, but it was memorable. I doubt I taught you a single thing. The rest is up to you now. No! Please, Lord Velas! I'm not ready for this! I don't think any of us ever are. It took me a long time to learn that. It's almost time for us to be reunited. Bardia. Lord Velas! <laughs> I see you are yet to break your bad habit of talking too much. Are you? I'd tell you to put your weapon down, but I dare say I'd be wasting my breath. Y you But it can't be. It just it just is impossible. You seem to be under a misapprehension. I am not who you believe me to be. But your face, your voice, in every way, you're Vardia! Vardia? You said that name just before, too. Silence. Vardia was a wretch who failed to escape the shackles of his fate. Don't conflate me with him. My name is Astrius, Liberator of the Crystals. Liberator of the Crystals? What are you talking about? Don't conflate you with him! How could I forget the face of my truest friend? Bardia, the warrior who was the keeper of the core crystal of light! You wouldn't forget him, would you, Vilas? Or the dream he spoke of? What the... This can't be! Vardia fulfilled his destiny by turning into crystal, and thus his life ended. But in his heart he harbored a dream, a yearning that he might be released from his fate and allowed to live in freedom. It was a tiny hope, no more than a sliver, but it gained form, the being you see before you. And now I am Astrius, free of the fate imposed by the crystals, free to live my life as I will. I have my own mission. Far different from Vardia's. To liberate the crystals. What exactly are you trying to do? Who is this child? <laughs> ah, of course. Another miserable sacrifice that has been created for the sake of the universe. Glare at me if you will, child. But you'll see my truth soon enough. What truth? Patience, my young friend. First things first. Velis, hand over the core crystal of ice. As you can see, I already have the others. Y you took them? What have you done to the other warriors? They tried to stop me, so I... immobilized them for a while. Come, Velas. Give me your crystal, so I may complete my plan. I will corrupt the power of the core crystals, return them to their pedestals, and thus destroy the balance of the world. Only then will the warriors of the crystals be freed from their accursed fate. It was you from the beginning, wasn't it? You caused the corruption of the crystals. I knew that the core crystals would be scattered throughout Ardra. I made certain preparations that I knew would weaken you. The protectors of the crystals. How did you like those monsters, by the way? 
quite the handful, I suspect. You were behind all of this. You made all those monsters go berserk. So many could have died because of you. What's a few villagers' lives when the whole world is to be transformed, turned on its head? Are you completely mad? Do you even understand the things you're saying? Of course I do. Once the world's balance is lost, nothing will stop it from careening into other worlds, fusing with them. Hence, the warriors of the crystals are consigned to their inescapable fate. But... the duty of the warriors is to protect the world as it is, to save it from upheaval and chaos! If a world needs propping up to keep it from falling, then is it not the most moral and natural thing to let it fall? Why must we sacrifice ourselves to preserve an artificial state of affairs? Who decreed that we must die for the sake of a doomed world? When worlds collide, there will be wars, disasters, mayhem. Many humans will likely die. But what is that to us? Such is the natural order of the universe. Who are we to defy it? How can you... Countless generations of warriors have given up their lives, century after century, to preserve the balance of the world. But no one ever stopped to think, is this the right thing to do? Until now. Surely you understand. Now, give me that core crystal, and let me end this cycle of sacrifice. Never! It's the sacred duty of every warrior of the crystals to protect them! We don't seek freedom! We want to do our duty to preserve the world! I'm not going to let you destroy it! I swear it! You're a mere child, immature in both training and mentality. Now, be gone from my presence! Ah! Lucio! Are you... too slow? I pity you, Bellis. If it wasn't for the fate that binds you, perhaps you'd have the strength to resist me. It was the same with the others. In their state, they were all too weak to stop me. Try, though they did. Your core crystal is mine. Farewell, Velus. And farewell to you too, feeble apprentice. It won't be long now. Soon, you'll be free from this misery. Wait! I can't move! Well, this is certainly a poor turn of events. Lucio, you have to go after him. I'll call the others. I have strength enough for that, at least. But... didn't he...? Fear not. I don't think they're dead. He said his goal was to free us. Killing us is not a part of that. Besides, even if it was... You know we can't be slain easily. Of course. You're right. The warriors aren't beaten yet. That's the spirit! Now hurry! You can't let him get away! Yes, sir! Come on, body. Move! You're not done yet! I won't let him beat us. I'll protect us. The will of light. The warriors. The whole world! Stop right there, Astrius! Oh? You caught up to me. Perhaps I underestimated you. I won't let you do this! Get back the core crystals! So that's your plan, is it? Run blindly after me and hope I'll do as you bid? Rather too optimistic, I'd say. Call it what you want. I'm going to stop you, right here and now! 
You are wide open, child. <laughs> You've had some training, it appears. But you are no match for me. I'm not done yet! Pathetic. Your blade has not come even remotely close to touching me. Give up. You cannot win. Stay put like a good child and watch as the world ends. Damn it! I couldn't even slow him down! That's far enough, Bar. Asterisk! Be you one or be you five, you cannot stop me. We'll see about that. You got lucky the first time against me. Astrius, your actions betray the will of light. Together, we will defeat you. Enough of this. You cannot bar my path in your weakened state. Not with the last of your strength poured into the core crystals. Behold! Such power from only a small magical burst! It would appear there is more afoot here than our weakened state. That power is not yours to claim. It belongs to the core crystal of light! Ah, a sharp eye indeed. Not surprising coming from an old friend of Vardia's. You think I wouldn't notice? I can sense Vardia's magic power inside you. He has the core crystal of light? Yes, but there's more to this. There are limits placed on the power of the core crystals and how much they can store. Cast your minds back. Something unusual happened with the core crystals, did it not? There was a strange magic accumulating within the crystals. <clears throat> encroaching upon their innate power. Then, after we drew it out, the core crystals barely had any power left within them. Which means... Yes. And where do you suppose the core crystals' original power went? Hmm? No. You stole the power from all of the core crystals. Well... I admit I could not extract every last sliver of magic. But what I took is more than enough. I am now, for all intents and purposes, invincible. This is madness! To take the magic of the core crystals into his own body! So what if he did? So what if you're as strong as you say? That doesn't mean we'll bend the knee to you! Still defiant, I see. If battles were won by sheer tenacity, you might actually prevail. But alas, your resolve is wasted by your lack of forethought. You cannot defeat me. You are wrong. For the last time, I shall extend a hand to you. Warriors of the Crystals, stand by my side. Together, let us end this world. Free yourselves from the shackles of fate and embrace true freedom. Only then will you receive your just reward as warriors. You're out of your mind if you think any of us will agree to that! You were born for one purpose. Destined to sacrifice yourselves by turning into eternal crystal. This is your chance to escape that fate. Don't you see? I'm offering you freedom. Freedom? Huh. I see it now. You talked before about how you were a hope that came true. You are the vision of Vardia, aren't you? What do you mean? Vardia was always concerned with freedom long before he turned to crystal. Just before his crystallization, I think the part of him that yearned for freedom broke away and 
somehow lived on outside him. It's a vision manifested in the form of Astrius. Is that even truly possible? Such was Vardia's attachment to life, and his pain of leaving it behind. The same Vardia that fulfilled his destiny and became the core crystal of light, also brought Astrius into existence. Indeed, I am the vision made manifest by Vardia's deepest hope. But what of it? It changes nothing. Whatever I may be, you are helpless before me. You've lost, warriors. Accept my offer and free yourselves from your wretched fate. Our fate isn't wretched. How so? In following my destiny, I've come to meet many people. None of them were truly free. All were bound by fate and circumstances. But that didn't stop them from finding their own kind of freedom. And it didn't stop them from fighting to fulfill their own destiny, no matter what obstacles stood before them. Our fate gives shape and meaning to our lives. It's as far from being wretched as you can get. I'm going to fulfill my destiny as a warrior of the Crystals. Like all the warriors that went before me, I live every moment to its fullest, and that's all I need. That's why none of us will ever accept your offer. Oh, is that your philosophy? Live for the moment? Rather human, don't you think, for a warrior of the Crystals? There were some people who prayed for a life yet to be born. A person who risked his life in the name of the one he loves. A person who led a rebellion to rescue her people from tyranny. And a person who risked scorn and ridicule to dream of a world without war. And in each and every one of their hearts was the same thing. The light of hope! And that's what I'm fighting to protect. What's happening? What is this light pouring from me? No. no stop. S stop! How can you do this to me? You... You who gave me life! What's happening? It's Vardia. Some part of him is still alive in there. When Lucio said he was protecting the light, somehow Vardia heard and responded. Vardia is making a choice. He wants Lucio to be the host of his power. But it still won't be enough. Lucio still won't be able to beat him. Then we will have to lend him our assistance. Come, everyone! Summon every last ounce of your strength and give it to the new warrior of the crystals! cannot be. The power of the light. It's gone. It's time to end this, Astrius. <sighs> it's not over yet. I still have the power of the core crystals. I'm not afraid of a warrior who's only just awoken. Fight me if you dare, Lucio. Fight me, and let us leave the fate of the world in the hands of the victor! You won't beat me! You will never take the light which shines upon the future! No! Damn you, no! How 
how is it you can defy me? A mere child! But you haven't won. I won't give up. I won't! And I will keep fighting until I've freed the warriors of the crystals from their accursed fate! I swear to you, Astrius, I will not let you destroy her. And I shall not give up! Not ever! I never imagined it would end like this. I only wanted for you all to be free. Astrius, you can let go now. Phyllis. Lucio had the power of the core crystal of light. Vardia's own power. He beat you. Vardia yearned to be freed from his fate. He never lost the light that shines in the hearts of all warriors of the crystals. Your battle was lost the moment he bestowed his power on Lucio. Foreordained, was it? The warriors of the crystals do enjoy being shackled to fate. You may only represent a mere fragment of Vardia as his vision. There's no denying your similarities. For him, it was always about helping his fellow warriors. Well, Lucio, we'll take care of the rest. What do you mean? You haven't forgotten, have you? You still have to turn into crystal. <laughs> Nothing has changed. The power of the core crystals must be replenished. We four shall turn into crystal and make the world safe once more. Wait! I... should join you then. Not with that barely awakened power of yours. Don't worry. We have enough for the core crystal of light, as well as our own. Lucio, you must stay behind. Guide the next generation of warriors. But... No, I won't allow it. Astrid, everything I have done is to stop you from turning into crystal. If I am left no other choice, then so be it. I don't believe it. He's releasing all the power he stole from the core crystals. Not just that. He's also letting go of his own magic. The magic that enables him to manifest as Vardia's vision. Why are you doing this? You know what it'll do to you. Do not misunderstand. I care not for the core crystals or your sacred duty. But I cannot bear to see you sacrifice yourselves for their sake. There is... One more thing, I suppose. This young would-be warrior who proclaims his pride in becoming a warrior of the crystals has my admiration. Ah, Vardia. I see now. All I want to live free with my comrades in arms. Even now, after all I have done, a part of me still wanted to protect this world. Astrius. How do you like that? After causing all this mayhem, he just ups and leaves. He could have at least let us say farewell. 
I guess it just goes to show the heart can be the source of great power for us and humankind alike. Vardia's heart truly was inside him. Which is why, in the end, the world remains in balance. And for that, we owe Vardia our gratitude. He stole the show, but at least this is over now. True, but let's not forget. There's someone else we need to thank, also. Oh, but of course, the one of us most responsible for restoring light to the core crystals. Well done, Lucio. We could not have done this without you. We're proud to call you our new recruit. Our fellow warrior of the crystals. There couldn't have been anyone better suited to become the keeper of the core crystal of light. Well, Lucio, will you continue to protect the world with us? Yes, of course. I'll keep fighting and carry on the duty Lord Bardia entrusted to me. A fine answer, Lucio. You can start right now. I just need to sit down. Huh? Are you all right? You just plopped down. Actually, you all did. I hate to say it, but I'm burned out. I could use some rest. Fighting the corruption. Sharing our power with you. We've nothing left, Lucio. And thus, we shall be taking our rest. <clears throat> and for some time, I imagine. Can you handle matters in the meantime? Wait a minute! Are you seriously just going to go to sleep? It's the best way to recover magic energy. And it's not like we have to worry about any foes turning up now. Bardia gave you enough power to go on, right? So go on. You hold the fort, while we rest our eyes. I can't just go on! And you can't leave me in charge! <sighs> you'll be fine, Lucio. Whatever happens, you'll figure out what to do. <laughs> Look, Doom is fast asleep already. Such is the confidence she has in you. <sighs> Admirable, isn't she? Well, my eyelids too grow heavy. Time for my respite. When I wake up, we'll return to training. And we won't stop until you finally land that first clean hit. She's terrifying even when she talks in her sleep. I'm hitting the sack too. Night night, Lucio. See you eventually. Wait! Is everyone really just going to fall asleep? I... I'm not quite sure how I'm going to apologize to them now. But I just can't... Stay awake either.